what do we mean by tawakkal and what do we mean by reliance is to rely on his help to rely on his support his sustenance his protection his provision he who is who is the merciful he who is the sustainer he who is the provider of all the provisions consider him as the attorney consider or take him as the guardian this is what reliance or tawakkul means it is the trust or reliance in allah when we say as we have been taught in the verse 129 of surah tauba hasbi allah la ilaha illa hu alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arshil azim sufficient is allah for me there is no god but allah and him i have placed my trust alayhi tawakkaltu means what in him in allah have i placed my trust he is the sustainer of the magnificent throne similarly in verse 173 of surah al imran allah says hasbunallahu ni'mal maula wa ni'mal wakil allah is sufficient for us how excellent he is as a guardian how excellent he is as an attorney so this is what is being ordered to all of us to have reliance and trust trust in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now we need to understand also that having trust in allah how does a believer need to behave what should a believer do how what sort of manners and what sorts of behaviors and activities he is supposed to adopt once he puts his trust and faith into allah in other words what would be the implications of the trust of allah in our lives trust on allah does not by any means it does not imply that the bondsman should stop struggling are striving or working for achieving their aims their goals and targets of life or they should stop working hard for earning their livelihood just by saying that we have trust in Allah and he is the provider he is the sustainer so he will provide us and he will feed us and he will he will attend to all our requirements and necessities and then sit with hands off all the work no 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 this is not having trust actually you know what having trust in allah and having reliance in allah means that the person should work struggle endure to the utmost capacity obviously within the permissible limits of his life and then after working and struggling then after that to have trust in allah that is our struggles and our efforts and our endeavors will be fruitful only with his help his support and that after our struggles and after our efforts and after our endeavors it will be he it will be he which who will provide whatever wherever whenever whichever will be best for us this actually is what trust in allah or reliance in allah means lack of trust in allah is actually not you know what actually the lack of trust or lack of reliance in allah is actually trying to resort to the unlawful earnings a person if he tries to earn his livelihood by the forbidden by the batil or by the haram manners then he is exhibiting by his behavior by his behavior that he does not have trust in rabbul alamin in the razik the provider the razak the best and the ultimate of all the providers 
for his provision and sustenance. He does not have trust in Allah that if he just resorts to the lawful earnings, then he will be provided and he will he will be able to earn by a lawful method. And then this means as a lack, lack of trust in Allah. A person having fear of Allah and a person having the trust in Allah will very clearly refrain from all lawful methods. The person will not resort or even think of resorting to any forbidden deed for earning, for treating the sick people or for any worldly affairs will not think or would not resort to any unlawful method and this is what actually the reliance of Allah means.